God. And he gives a whole list of things there that, that can't separate us from the things of God. Okay, so in, in, along those lines, let me ask you this then. <clears throat> so you're saying a child of God, a child of God uh, is, is saved. They're, they're not going to be lost, never going to be lost, never fall. Uh, what no, if, I didn't say they weren't going to fall because okay. they real backslide. They're not going to be lost. Not gonna, they're not going to be in, in, condemned to hell. Right. Okay. So if if someone who is saved then goes and commits fornication and dies in the very act, are they going to be in heaven? Well, would a saved man do that? Well, I believe so. I don't know if a saved man honestly would do that. No. I mean, you know, would a saved well, man go out here and commit adultery? Would a saved well, man go out here and commit adultery? Would a saved well, man go out here and commit adultery? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll answer yours if you'll answer me. What if you went ahead and committed fornication with that lady, and as you walked out, a car hit you, and you didn't have a chance to repent? Would you go to heaven or hell? By your theology, I'd go to hell. Well, by Jesus' theology, the Bible says no fornicator is going to be in heaven, so you can take that or leave it. And I, I'll say that you were going to hell both places. Okay, as a fornicator, that means I actually do the act. That's right. I asked you, if you went but, ahead and committed fornication, and you got hit by a car as you came out the door of the woman's house, would you go to heaven or hell? By my stance on God's grace, yeah. I'd be going to heaven. All right, that's what I thought. But I'm glad you said that.